So today we're gonna to answer that old age question, is my diamond engagement ring real? Well, I'm gonna show you guys a surefire way how to test your diamond or diamond engagement ring to make sure that it's real. And make sure that you stay tuned through the whole video because at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a couple insider tricks that you can test a diamond or a stone that you may think that is a diamond on the go. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. One of the most surefire ways to test if your diamond is real is using a diamond tester. Now there are many different diamond testers on the market. You can even find some diamond testers for five to $15 on eBay or Amazon. But the issue with those diamond testers is they do not work properly. Now something that you also need to be aware of is that you need to find a diamond tester that will test for something called moissanite. Now this diamond tester is made by Presidium and this is the Multi-Tester 3. This diamond tester will test for moissanite, cubic zirconium, other rocks that are diamond simulants. Now make sure that you do know that this does not tell the difference between a CBD lab-grown diamond and a regular earth mine diamond because they are both chemically inert the same. So let's go ahead, get into this, show you guys how to test your diamond engagement ring to see if it's real. So now let me show you guys how to quickly and easily test if your diamond is real or if it's a diamond simulant. So when you open up your diamond tester, you'll see that it comes with your actual thermal testing device, as well as a diamond placement or diamond holder. This is usually used for loose diamonds that you want to test. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to use this Presidium multi-tester to test the diamond that is in question. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is go ahead and remove the cap off the diamond tester to expose the tip. Now this is the thermal tip that we will be using to test if this diamond is real. Now we can go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, it is starting to get ready. Now you cannot test the diamond until this light is solid and it does let you know that it is ready. Now one thing that we're going to do while we wait for the Presidium tester to get ready is to make sure that we clean the diamond. Now this is very important because if you have a real diamond and it is dirty it may come back with some false positives. So what I like to do is use a lint-free cloth, make sure that the diamond is nice and clean, that there is no oil or there is nothing else that can give us a false positive on this test. Now let's go ahead and see that if the light is solid, the light is solid, so that means that we are ready to test. Now these sides are for your fingers. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have a nice clean contact and we're looking for this to go all the way to diamond, right? We don't want to say moissanite, we don't want to say simulant, we don't want to say metal, we want to say diamond. So let's go ahead and test this. Diamond. Let's go ahead and test this again. Diamond. Now, another question is, what if there is oil on the diamond? So, let me go ahead and put a little coverage on this, and let's see if we get the same results. Look at that. When the diamond is not clean, it is not reading properly. So, I'm going to show you guys one more time what we need to do, how we need to clean this to get this to correct results. So let's go ahead and clean this one more time right in front of you so you guys can see exactly how this works to make sure that we're not gonna get a false positive here. And let's go ahead and test this stone again. Diamond. So now that is one way that we can test to make sure that our diamond is real and that it is not a simulant or moissanite. Now I'm gonna show you guys another trick since you followed me through this video of how to test a loose diamond and to make sure that that diamond is real without a diamond tester. So now we have the stone in question and we wanna test and see if this loose diamond is real. So now one thing that can give you a false positive is if you test this diamond inside of the metal, it could come back as a moissanite. Let's see what happens when we test this with the metal. Now I know that this is a natural diamond because this diamond has a GA certificate on it. So let's go ahead and let's put it into the diamond placement holder that is provided with the Presidium tester. 
and let's see if the test comes back a little bit different. And now we're not cleaning the diamond, we're not doing anything else other than putting the diamond into the specific holder to test the diamond. Let's go ahead and try this again. So now that we've placed the diamond in the diamond holder, let's go ahead and test it and let's see if we get the same results. So this is how we can avoid false positives is by following the directions and doing this properly. So now let me show you something that I promised in the beginning of the video, an on-the-go test that can help you identify if it truly is a diamond that you are looking at. So let's go ahead and put this diamond tester away and let me show you guys something that's called a visual test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an X on this piece of paper. Now with a stone that is not a diamond, we should be able to see the X through the actual stone. Now if you look, I can still see some of the marking through this stone that is a supposed diamond, right? So I'm gonna go from line to line and you see the difference that you can actually see the line that we drew through the pavilion of this stone. Now let's go ahead and take this diamond and let's see how it interacts. nothing so you see that the x is completely blocked out we cannot see any lines we know that this most likely is a diamond now i'm going to show you guys again one more time with this stone you can clearly see the line i can see it right there going through the center of the stone And let's do it with the diamond one more time. Well, that's it, guys. So that will show you some quick and easy at-home tests that you can do with the diamond tester and without the diamond tester to tell if this is a natural diamond. Make sure that you have liked this video and subscribe to our channel because we're going to be adding a lot of interactive and cool content